All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel, guys. Say hello to Ren and Stimpy, Powder Toast Man, Log TV, and Choo Choo. And let's get started with today's video. Hey guys, it's me. Uh, we're going to do this on camera for a little bit, just for the fun of it. And uh, yeah, sorry for the glasses, uh, fighting some sort of eye thing, and it should be gone soon, hopefully. Um, so, we're going to do a review of this bad boy. This is a prototype of the Azusa Blade Works uh, uh, Blitzkrieg. Wow. Uh, this is a fantastic titanium uh, frame lock, as you can see, with this crazy milling carbon fiber M390 hollow ground blade produced by Miguron. Now, I'm here to say... I've reviewed a lot of Miguron knives, not all of them in any way. To me, this is the best Miguron I've reviewed. Uh, it just is. Sam over there does some really cool designs, uh, and they've, they've put out some bangers, but this is fantastic. So this is on Kickstarter. Uh, I'll leave the link below. Uh, when I'm recording this, let's see. Uh, hold on, we're just going to do this uh, free form. That's what I like to do anyway. Uh, so when I'm looking at this right now, uh, there are 53 days to go. So by the time you see this, it might be like 43. And at this point, there's $4,300 uh, committed of 20000 So he is a ways to go with a ways to go in the project. So he just needs to get the word out and tell people about this really cool knife. Now, uh, again, it's called the Blitzkrieg. It is titanium, as you can see. It is contoured on the scales. Very nicely done in that regard. And by the way, we'll go to the tabletop here in a minute. You do have a titanium pocket clip only on the one side. No provision for a reversible clip. You do have some built-in jimping on the uh, backspacer. But again, nowhere there for a lanyard uh, hole either. Neither of the... I mean, again... Do I wish there was left lefty love? Yes, but with a frame lock, I think a lot of times designers think it's a frame lock. Lefties aren't going to be able to use it properly anyway. I don't know. Um, so, you know, I wish it was lefty love. It's not. It is not deep carry. It is right about there. Um, but, you know, uh, not too bad. It gives you a place to pull it out of the pocket. It is a frame lock with a... Uh, there you go with a uh, lock bar interface, uh, a steel lock bar interface. You have uh, what must be the Azusa logo here. Very, very cool in that. Um, I think I think I have, uh, well, I thought I had a paper on this one. So I got to look it up before we get to the tabletop. We'll give you all the specs on the tabletop. Maybe I don't have a paper on this one, but we'll see. Uh, you can see a crazy hollow ground blade with this shiny uh, mirror-like uh, satin finish. Look at that. Uh, it, you can't, you can see the grind lines, but they're very muted in favor of this crazy soft satin finish. Uh, you do up top have horizontal um, uh, wow, satin. Uh, then, guys, here's what I like about this knife. Now, I wish it was just a little bit longer, but it is a four-finger knife. Now, uh, one of the things we talk about sometimes on the channel ergonomically is when I don't, I don't like being sort of pinned against the flipper tab. So, again, kind of wish there was just a little more room where I could just back off of that flipper tab just a little bit, uh, just for comfort's sake. Uh, but, you know, still good. Very good, and again with the with the contoured scales and the placement of that clip, uh, I do not have a hot spot. That feels really nice. Now on top of that, you have a generous finger choil, so I can get up into this finger choil. And by the way, when you're back here, my thumb kind of rests sort of like that, and I'm sort of on the start of this jimping. And that's not too bad. Now when I choke up. I'm all the way up on that kind of thumb ramp here. Uh, the jimping does not go all the way up. I'm only pointing this out for those of you who love jimping. Uh, for me, I'm good. I'm, I'm locked in. Uh, I don't have a problem because, again, you have that upturn right here of the thumb ramp, and you're not going anywhere. I mean, that feels great. Uh, the hole is chamfered off very nicely. Now, this is a multiple deployment method knife. You have uh, really nice jimping. 
Come on. On the flipper tab there, as you can see, and a very generous hole. Now, you can uh, you can get down here. Uh, you can get up towards the beginning of the hole. I mean, the, the, the end of the hole. Uh, it is very nice. Now, let's start with the flipper for you guys. Uh, you can see... Uh, it's it's a little sluggish, but but it definitely comes out. Let's see. Can I fail it? No, I cannot fail it. Now, if you hammer it, it's coming out nice and fast. It has a good sound to it. As you can see, now it drops to my thumb on that flipper tab. Get my thumb out of the way. It's gone. There is your detent. Yeah, very nice detent. You do come all the way out to the end there. And we are, are we dead centered? Yeah, no. We are off to the show side slightly. I did not notice that before, but we are. Um, but good, good detent. Not shaking out. Uh, very good. Now, uh, the detent for the flick is perfect. Uh, I would use the flick over, I have been carrying it, using the flick over the flipper all day long. Uh, same thing goes for the hole as far as thumb. Uh, it's not quite as convenient for the hole on the thumb because you kind of got to dig your thumb up in there, but it works. I mean, it definitely works. I, per I, I mean, if you like thumb opening, you won't have a problem with it, uh, but I prefer uh, the other. Now, no, no lock rock, no blade play locked up like a bank vault. Um, let's see here. I want to get a good look at that lock bar interface. So, uh, it looked like it was locked up a lot more than it is, but I just got a good glimpse of that um, lock bar interface. We're still at about a 20 there on the lockup, so that is not bad at all. You do have external um, uh, relief on your lock. You do have a pass-through to speak of there. There you go. And a nice chamfer uh, there. Focus is actually cooperating some today. Now, uh, I don't have any trouble pushing that lock bar over. No trouble whatsoever. And again, it's not going to drop and kill you unless you just don't get out of the way after you uh, you get past that flipper. Um, it's fine in that regard. Now, we'll cut once we get to the table. But the one thing I really want to point out one more time while we're over here is this milling. I'm not... I know I've seen some really... Fly, go away. I know I've seen some really cool milling on Miguron knives, but this might be the favorite look. And again, guys, just, there is your look, <sighs> fly. Uh, there is your look at that beautiful blade. Uh, again, just wish it was just slightly bigger for me. Uh, we will go to the table. I will see if I can find specs. Uh, we'll go to the table, we'll cut a little bit, we'll compare, and we will be done. So I'm already at eight minutes. So that's the thing. See, guys, I go back and forth at this on camera and then at the table because that's going to make the videos a little bit longer. So let me know. That's why I haven't done it all the time because I don't want super long videos. But let me know. Do you care if the videos are 12, 13 minutes instead of 8 to 10 minutes? I don't know. Let me know, and we'll see how long this one goes. We're at uh, 8.15 already. So, all right, see you at the table. All right, well, I didn't find a paper, but I found some some stuff on the uh, Kickstarter. So um, the Blitzkrieg, as you can see, is almost the same length as the Ontario Rat 2, but it is taller, which is a reason why I keep saying it feels so good in the hand. Nice and contoured, unlike the flat of the, of the Rat 2, and just fits my hand really well. Now the Ontario Rat 1 is considerably larger as you can see there. Now, um, the blade on this Azusa uh, Blitzkrieg is 3.25 inches. Uh, it's 4.375 um, on the handle length. And uh, of course we've got carbon fiber and titanium. I don't see a weight here and I'm not gonna get the scale out. I think if I had to guess it's like four and a half ounces. Ah, oh, heck, we'll, we'll weigh it real quick. I'm just trying not to make the video 83 minutes long here so yep all right let's see scales right here waiting for it to zero out oh come on zero out all right waiting all right here we go 4.5 4.6 okay so yeah i was pretty close not too bad for a uh a hack whatever i am i don't know uh all right so um again really cool knife 
I'm really digging it. Uh, let's see about cutting and then we will wrap this up. Now it is M390. Uh, if I had to guess, I would say the blade stock is 3.2 millimeters or so. Oh my goodness. Okay. So here's the thing because of that uh, hollow grind there. Oh yeah. All right. So I would bet this guy's, well, see, and then it keeps catching. I don't know. Well, I do have tape all over this. Um, there we go. I don't know what I was doing wrong, but it caught a couple of, yeah, see that? That's interesting. Uh, now it has not been sharpened and it's been going around. It does feel like a very sticky, sharp edge, uh, but that's very interesting to me. See, look at that. And then it demolishes it. I think I was just hitting some of that tape. Uh, and now we have tape all over the blade. So very cool. But yeah, check out the Kickstarter. I'm going to leave a link to the Kickstarter uh, down below. And uh, guys, definitely check out this one. I really am thankful that this got um, passed around uh, in Kevin's uh, Lefty Pass Around group. And uh, appreciate it, uh, Adam, for you uh, sending this out. Now, guys, check out the Kickstarter. You know how Kickstarters are. If they don't fund, I mean, that's that. It, it really usually doesn't happen. He might find another way to do it. But, um, you know, support the Kickstarter if you can. Uh, that's how it happens. Oh, I haven't talked about price. Look at that. I almost forgot uh, the part. You guys are probably screaming. Uh, I, I figured I, yeah, I should do that. Um, so one Blitzkrieg is $189. Estimated delivery in December of 2023 only to the USA. Um, and you can get two of them for $350. So, yeah, really, you know, for M390 and titanium, contoured scales, milling, um, a hollow ground, ridiculous blade, I would say, uh, you know, $189 is a really fantastic price. So, and that's discounted for the pre for the pre-order. So, very, very cool, uh, awesome stuff. So, Check it out. Again, sorry this video is a little longer. Let me know what you think of doing them this way. Uh, I've been going back and forth on it. So give me a thumbs up and again, a comment down below. All the things like comment, subscribe, notification bell. And thank you so much for looking at this really epic knife and for watching the Knives Fast channel.